Hello again, Izzy from Digital Goja Showrooms. Today we're going to take a look at what the difference is in voltage and milliamps between batteries. I've noticed some questions on our YouTube channel and also on some of our customer service and some Amazon and eBay questions on does the voltage or the milliamp harm or change the way my camera works. If this video helps you out, remember to hit me up with a like button underneath and subscribe to our channel for future tutorial sessions and questionnaires just like this. And don't forget, when in Miami, visit Digital Goja Showrooms. Now the example I'm going to use here is one of many that are out there, but this is a perfect example. This is the very popular LPE6N battery. This is the newest version of the LPE6 from Canon. They actually increased the milliamp on it. So this guy now goes up to 1865 milliamps. And it states it always in the nomenclature on the back of the battery. And it also says that it gives you 14 watt hours. Now this guy happens to be a 7.2 volt. All right, this is the original battery packaging that it comes with. Now here I have a very popular version that's made by another manufacturer Vivitar and this one is also an LP6N but this guy states that it is a 7.4 volt battery with 2000 milliamps and 14.8 watt hours so basically this guy gives you a little bit more bang for the buck what does that mean this manufacturer since it is an aftermarket manufacturer chose so that they can entice the consumer to purchase their version of the battery by giving you a little bit more milliamp, therefore also giving you a little bit more life in the camera. Now, this small amount of difference in volts and in milliamps is not going to harm the camera. Here I have a perfect example. This one is the very popular EOS 6D. And I'm first going to place the original Canon battery in there. And of course, I start it up and it's ready to go. It's functioning perfectly, of course. That is the original battery, so this guy should give you no issues whatsoever. But now I'm going to swap it out. And I'm going to use the Vivitar version of the LP6N. Loads the same way. Close it up. Turn it on. And as you can see, the display is on and it shoots and works the same way. Now, you of course, as a consumer, have to make the decision. Do I want the original battery? Because I've had good results with it and I don't mind paying the extra fee for it. Or do I go with the generic, the aftermarket version and save some money and get a little bit more power out of it to boot? You make the choice, but don't worry they will not harm your camera just because of the small change in milliamps and in volts. So if you are thinking of getting extra batteries and want to save some money and you're going to go with the aftermarket version, keep in mind it will not harm your system. Happy shooting!